Hey guys, today I'm showing you uh, what I think my alternate alternative is to uh, the recent floods in Thailand and hard drive prices. So today I went to Dick Smith and they had a special on. And it's still on, so if you're in Australia and whatnot, you can go to Dick Smith and pick up one of these. Yes, it's a Seagate expansion drive, 2 terabytes. Uh, this was $99. Uh, instead of paying, you know, like about, I think they're up to like $169 now for a sim simple internal drive. But uh, what we've been doing lately is you buy an external drive of your favourite brand or whatever, you open it up and you get the internal drive out and use that in your PC, or keep using it as an external drive. Okay, so let's just get on to the next bit. So particularly with these drives in general, if you buy them from Dick Smith, see I've already posted up on Overclockers Australia, uh, there's $99 plus you get free delivery. So if you if you go to the link, I'll put it down in the bar if you want to go have a look at it. Uh, somebody else had told me uh, something to take into consideration with these particular drives. So, alright, where is it? Check the DOM date. Anything from 08, 11 onwards. We'll have a new model Barracuda, so that's side of 3, 7200 RPM, 64 meg cache, and 1 terabyte platters. And the one, the other ones that just got announced. So anything from this date backwards will be older and have the 59 RPM green drives. Okay, so if we are actually to take a look at my expansion drive now, I'll show you how to actually see if you, if you were to go to the shops and actually buy this particular model. Okay, so all we've got to do, look underneath and you'll see this code right here so where is it right here there is your date so if you get if you look back on the site we're looking for 08 slash 11 plus so wait there it is there so my drive of course is old um, it was made in 2010 you can also see 2010 up there but apparently you said on the new ones you get USB 3 as well so this one's USB 2 So when I had actually been to Dick Smith today and actually bought this, the lady had told me that, well I, I actually went to a few stores, so the people that told me said that when they got the, the order of these in, they were all this exact date, 0410. So if you go to check them out, do check the dates on them if you want a particular drive, if you want the good one. I tried to get the good one, but I went to like three stores or something in various suburbs and they all had this one so I just ended up with this anyway because I need storage so yeah what we're actually going to do now is we're actually going to open it up and get the drive out of it and just have a look and see if it actually is what they say and it's actually 5900 RPM green drives so let's do that now so once again in regard to these drives it really really depends on personal brand preference and what price you can get it for uh, me and a ma me and some mates have recently been just purchasing up a bunch of externals, uh, trying to find drives that do not have greens in them, like that do not have green drives in them. It's very rare with externals that they do not come with greens, but we've been getting along. Uh, I'm trying to still currently pack up my server at the moment, so we're trying to cram drives in it. That's got about 15 terabytes in it right now, like a bunch of twos and some 1.5s and raids and all that stuff. And I'm just slowly getting along and adding more to it. These Thailand floods aren't really stopping me, so I've just been purchasing up external drives. Uh, the reason behind it, really, is sort of companies like Dick Smith, for example, they're a big retailer, they can buy off a bunch of drives, and as you saw before, one second, these dates, when they were actually manufactured, they've actually had them in storage for quite a while, so they've been able to buy a bulk load and they've just been occasionally selling them. Therefore, that is why they've sold these at a particular cheap price, which is $99. Uh, whereas, small computer companies selling internal hard drives, they sell more quickly and they don't buy as much. So, they've already pretty much sold out of the stock before the floods hit. And they've only had... Um, they've, they've been buying uh, internal desktop hard drives. And, yeah, that's pretty much why the prices have gone up, like, so quickly. Whereas retailers are slowly starting to get their prices up. So I'll just chuck you on the tripod here. There we go. And we'll just start to 
unbox this hard drive, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't have my unboxing knife, so I have to improvise with a screwdriver. <laughs> so let's actually see what we get. I've opened up a couple of Seagates before and they've happened to have good drives in them. Uh, with what this guy is saying though, which I showed you before, apparently 5900 RPM green drives. I'm not really all that sure, but still I'm going to open it up anyway. Oops, just move the camera back. So I'm going to open it up anyway and we'll have a look. If you actually really care about the unboxing, not the way of doing an unboxing, but still, you get a little expansion manual with it. But I'm just in it for the hard drive today. So let's crack the seal and get the drive out. Okay, now Seagate hard drives aren't really particularly easy to open. I've practiced on a few before, just like a few dead ones that we picked up from Umart. Uh, in their recent flood sale. But yeah, pretty much all you gotta do is you gotta start from the back here and you gotta pull it straight off. There's clips inside that'll just undo when you just when you start doing that. So of course only do this if you're going to um, use it for use it for the internal drive and not for an external. If you want an external, just buy it, plug it in, start chucking data on it, that's it. Okay, so I'll just actually get that opened up now. Okay, so with this drive here, I actually had to rip this one from the front. So where they have the logo at the front, you just rip it straight off. And it should undo all the clips in there, and you can put it straight back on. But uh, let's actually have a look at what's actually inside. So this should just come straight out. And let's have a look. We can get this stuff off, get the LED off. And what do we have here? Yeah, we have a green 5900 RPM drive. Okay. Focus. Okay. So yeah, what I'm going to do though, is now that I have this drive, I'll actually unscrew it first, so give us a minute. Okay, so now I've unscrewed them. The screws are located there, 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 and there. These are pretty much it right here. They're very small, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting them off at all. But uh, now I can actually take the drive out. Now you'll notice that it's actually still connected to the um, bay in here for USB and stuff. You can pretty much just pull it out. It's just straight out. See, it's just like it's just connected in there by a SATA power and connectors. So it might actually require a little bit of force, but don't worry, you won't actually break the drive. But that's pretty much it. Our drive there. So instead of paying, I don't know, however much it was for it. Um, like $150 or something off a retail PC site, you can just rip it out of an external for about $99 from Dick Smith or wherever your closest retailer is that's selling them at a good price. So that just can go straight in my server now and I now have more storage. Thank y'all. Also, if you guys want, you can also chat down in the description below and talk about your experiences and what you've been doing. Um, what your drives consisted of when you bought them or things like that so it might be actually good to help other people out that are trying to do the same thing and get some storage so yeah until next time thanks for watching